the newest Magic Kingdom will actually be more a democracy. 30 miles outside the nation's capital in the rolling hills of Virginia, Disney America will employ all the tricks of the Disney trade to recreate significant periods of the country's history. Disney's America will serve, we think, as an ideal complement to people visiting this area's museums, monuments, and national treasures. Attractions will focus on Indian life, the Civil War, Ellis Island, industrial America, and the country's military history. Disney America will be the company's fifth, and at just over 100 acres, its smallest theme park, the only one in a cold weather location, it may actually close in the winter months. With its historical focus, it's also the first to deviate from the formula that has made the company so successful. Again, this park, because it's not Disneyland, because it's a new kind of park for us, is going to give us an opportunity to really get some, some gutsy, emotional um, views in there. And we're hoping to, to really be a little controversial. In some of these. They already are in the small town of Haymarket, a mile down the road. I think it's awesome. Some are understandably enthusiastic. Other residents of this rural area, though, have mixed feelings about development, even if it is Disney. So I think it's going to bring a lot of increased prices around here, too much traffic. Nice little town like this is going to be destroyed, more or less. Betty Rankin led a successful fight against a shopping mall development in the same area. It still has to go through the local zoning process, and the impacts of whatever they're proposing must be addressed. But winning the necessary state and local regulatory approval isn't expected to be difficult. The feeling around here is nobody says no to Disney. Except maybe the French. Euro Disney has been a king-sized disaster, the company reporting $900 million in losses last year. Disney won't say what its new park will cost, but company officials clearly think they have the right idea at the right time in history. Mike McKee in Haymarket, Virginia.